you've got a lot of stuff going on right now. I think there's something happening tomorrow or Tuesday, perhaps. Yeah, the album's coming out tomorrow, actually at midnight tonight. So at 9 p.m. in Vegas, everybody can have the album. You know, download it on iTunes and pick up your copy tomorrow. How exciting is it for you to be you know, able to release it right now? It's incredible, you know, it's been a long time coming. I believe that people have been, any artist has been writing their first album their whole life. Everything leads up to this particular moment right here. And to be able to say things that are true to me and that I feel like real people can connect to. I just think we party so much. We make these songs about champagne and cars and oh, the girl's got a big butt and she's cute. It's so much of that, but how do you feel? Like, how are you affected by love? How are you affected by heartbreak? How are you affected by tragedy? A lot of artists are neglecting those type of subjects and I just wanted to do that. And that's what made me want to step away from writing for other artists was that I was sick of them not wanting to sing real songs. And I was like, you know what? Let's talk about something for real. If nobody wants to do it, I'll do it. It's kind of like a dearth of like sort of like traditional like R and B music in general right now. Like a lot of like a lot of artists are having a hard time breaking through just on radio to get like sort of mainstream R and B hits. I mean, where where do you see us going with R and B music in the future? You know, it's difficult, especially for black artists, is because um, when a black artist sings a, a song about love and a true ballad. It's difficult because urban radio won't play it. And then it's way more difficult for them to get on Top 40 and rhythm radio. So you're kind of in a weird place because when you make the up-tempo record full of energy about nothing, now rhythm is playing you. And now Top 40 is playing your record. So, And then when you got incredible artists like uh, Adele or like uh, Sam Smith was singing traditional R&B songs and it's working for them, it gets a bit, you know, you get caught up in a matrix of trying to figure out how can you make it work. But one thing you want to focus on is just saying things that's true to you. One thing about it is whether they discover it now 20 years from now, they're going to discover it. There's a band that I saw a documentary on called Death. And these are three black guys from Detroit, and they are the founders of punk rock. And they never were discovered until after the lead singer and the main writer was, was, had died. But it's so, it's so satisfying for them to realize that we did something incredible, and we're going to go down to history for it. So no matter when it happens, when you're true to your artistry, you know, you're just happy for people to discover the music, whoever discovers it.